back to our platform. Today I will talk about computer. My topic belong to class 9. Today we will discuss about chapter number 2 and the name of chapter various methods of communication. Today we will discuss about oral communication. Our first topic is various method of communication. Today we will discuss about this topic. But before that we have to understand communication. In our previous chapter we discussed about communication in detail but today we will take a quick revision of communication after that we will discuss our topic. Communication means exchanging idea, opinion, information among the people. Means that in communication we share idea, opinion, information among the people. People are used different methods of communication to express themselves. Means that there are lot of method by which we can express ourselves. So today we will discuss these various methods of communication. There are three methods of communication. First is verbal, second is non-verbal, third is visual. In verbal communication we use words. When we use word in our communication that is known as a verbal communication. Either it should be oral, either it should be written. In non-verbal communication we do not use a single word. That is known as a non-verbal communication. Then what we will use? We will use body language, eye contacts, or finger points in the verbal communication. Sorry, in the non-verbal communication. Next is visual communication. Visual communication we use visual ad like chart, graph paper, PPT presentation. So again I am repeating in verbal communication we will use words. In non-verbal communication we do not use any single word only we will use our body language. In visual communication we will use visual ad like map, graph, ppt etc. Verbal communication. Verbal communication involves the use of word in delivering the intended message. Means that in verbal communication we use words for delivering the message. When we use word for delivering the message it is known as a verbal communication. In verbal communication we use word for delivering the message. There are two primary forms of verbal communication. First is oral communication. Second is written communication. Today we will discuss about oral communication. Again I am repeating when we use word for delivering the message that is known as a verbal communication. Oral communication. The process of expressing information or idea through the spoken word is known as a oral communication. Means that when we use spoken word in our communication that is known as a oral communication. Again I am repeating the definition of oral communication. Oral communication use spoken word in the communication process. In the communication process when we use spoken word that is known as the oral communication. Oral communication is most natural form of communication than the written. Means that it is a natural form of communication. Advantages of oral communication is that it provides immediate feedback and clarification. In oral communication, we immediately get feedback and clarification. Both the speaker and the listener take turn to speak and enter into a kind of dialogue to make whole communication process purposeful. Means that sender or receiver both can take part in this uh, conversation so uh, this process become more purposeful when they take part they will share their idea their opinion then this communication become more purposeful again i am repeating it this communication we immediately get feedback and clarification and in this communication speaker and listener both can take part so it become a more purposeful next is it is a time saving and useful tool it is a time saving and useful tool it lends the benefit of personal touch to the entire interactions when we use oral communication we also feel a personal touch Personal touch has been given in a oral communication. Examples 
टेलीफोन कन्वर्सेशन वीडियो कॉन्फ्रेंसिंग वॉइस मेल जनरल कन्वर्सेशन स्पीच मीटिंग सेमिनार ग्रुप डिस्कशन आर द एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ ओरल कम्युनिकेशन दिस इज द थिंग्स वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड इन दी ओरल कम्युनिकेशन now we will talk about the factors of effective oral communication what is the factor for effective oral communication first is pace it means how fast or slow you speak suppose that if you speak too fast the receiver may not be able to absorb it or interpret it your message correctly on other hand if you speak too slow the receiver might be lose their interest means that means that uh, if you are speaking too fast then receiver will not be understand you correctly and if you speak too slow then his receiver will feel bored he will not uh, uh, taking interest in our topics so he might be lose his interest so when you use oral communication you should not be too fast or not be too slow so your pace should be maintained in pace we will decide that how fast or how slow you are speaking next is clarity in pronunciation it refer to the spoken word clearly correctly including the correct sound of a letter means that when you are using oral communication then your pronunciation should be clear your voice should be clear and the word and the sound of word should be correct next is volume it means that how loud how loud or soft your voice is if your voice is too loud then the then the receiver will think that you are dominating him him other other hand if your voice is too soft then the receiver will think that you are feeling shy you are not confident so your voice should not be too loud or should not be too soft uh, we should try to maintain our volume now come to the next point choose of word it refer to it refer to choosing appropriately word while communication means that when we are using oral communication then we should try to use choose our word appropriately next is fluency it refer the ability to speak with ease and accurate language when we are involving in the oral communication our flow should be maintained otherwise receiver will not be engaged he may be interrupted sometime you have seen that when we speak then we will use uh, or uh, you know these things we will use then it may be interrupted to us we should try to avoid these type of word when we are taking part in our oral conversation are speaking should in a flow length of communication the conversation should be simple short and to be pointed means that if our conversation timing is too long then people will not be will not be take part in this communication properly and if so our length of communication to be simple short or to be pointed otherwise if we make it long then receiver will not be taking interest and if sometime we use uh, to to talk about in relevant topics so listener will lose their interest about the speech so uh, the length of communication should be proper now come to the next point advantages of oral communication it is a interpersonal or has the building the relationship in oral communication when we use oral communication 
वी विल गिव आ इंटर पर्सनल एंड हेल्प द बिल्डिंग रिलेशनशिप वैन वी यूज ओरल कम्युनिकेशन अ पर्सनल टच हैज बीन गिवेन एंड बिकॉज ऑफ डैट वी विल क्रिएट अ रिलेशनशिप इट इनक्रीज द इन्वॉल्वमेंट इन टीम वर्क एंड डिसीजन मेकिंग प्रोसेस इन ओरल कम्युनिकेशन वी विल इन्वॉल्व आर टीम फॉर आर डिसीजन मेकिंग प्रोसेस सो वी कैन एनक्रेज टू इन्वॉल्वमेंट आर टीम एंड ट्राई टू टेक पार्ट दैम इन डिसीजन मेकिंग प्रोसेस वी कैन इमीडिएटली गेट फीडबैक इन दिस प्रोसेस एंड इट इज अ कॉस्ट इफेक्टिव प्रोसेस सॉरी कॉस्ट एफिशियंट प्रोसेस एंड इट इज प्रीफर मोर ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन फॉर प्राइवेट एंड कॉन्फिडेंशियल मैटर इफ वी हैव टू टॉक अबाउट कॉन्फिडेंशियल एंड प्राइवेट मैटर दैन ओरल कम्युनिकेशन इज मोर यूजफुल बिकॉज समाइम रिटर्न वर्क हैज बीन लीक सो फॉर अ प्राइवेट एंड द कॉन्फिडेंशियल मैटर वी शुड ट्राई टू बी क्रिएट आ ओरल कम्युनिकेशन now disadvantages of oral communication in the form of communication in the in this form of communication emotions are visible has led the miscommunication means that when we are using oral communication then we can uh, see the emotion very easily so sometime it sh- should be create miscommunication it has no legal validity when we are using oral communication there is no legal validity nobody will there is no legal things in this communication there is no proof to uh, to prove ourselves so oral communication has no legal validity now it does not provide a permanent record and message can be easily forgotten it do not have a permanent record and when we use oral communication sometime we forget the things it may be difficult to certain people understand speech there are many reason where we cannot understand the uh, speech correctly in the oral communication sometime they are speaking too fast sometime they are speaking too slow sometime they are not using proper word that's why we are not able to understand speech correctly the forms of communication is not suitable for a lengthy message when we have to give lengthy message then this form of uh, communication is not be correct so today we will discuss all the things of a uh, oral communication i hope you got something in this video if you like this video you can like it share it and subscribe it thanks for watching my video